How do you stay in touch with that congregation that more and more relies upon technology without breaking that budget? Many of the ways are things like Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, even good old-fashioned email. <laughs> How about our bulletin? Well, we're trying different ways to stay in touch with the congregation today. And we're finding it difficult to try and leverage all of these technologies at the same time. In addition, we have to think of the different platforms. Things like PCs, tablets, Macs, all of the different technologies that we currently use to stay in touch. Today, one of the most common way is the mobile phone. That is actually utilized more than anything else currently for people to stay in touch. And on our mobile phones, the most common utilized tool is the app. Let's take a look. What is an app? Well, let's first talk about what an app is not. An app is not a web page. It's not even a mobile-enabled web page. It's normally not searchable in the traditional sense of going to a browser. Apps are used to retain clients, not to acquire them. So what type of apps are there? First of all, there are native apps. These integrate tightly with the local operating system like iOS or Android or Windows Mobile. They do require full integration with their main platforms such as iTunes, Google Play, or the Windows Store. One big issue is that these apps must constantly be updated due to the ever-changing underlying operating systems. Of course, then they only work on the selected platforms such as iPhone, Android, etc. The other type of app is a web app. What makes a web app unique? Well, first of all, they work across multiple operating systems, such as your iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, and they work across multiple platforms, including smartphones, tablets, and PCs. And because the app is not dependent upon the local operating system, there are less issues when operating system upgrades happen. So why not use my mobile-enabled website? Isn't that accomplishing the same thing as having a local app? Not really. And here's why. First of all, let's take a look at the amount of time that people spend on the different types of devices. In 2015, we actually started exceeding the amount of time we're spending on mobile devices versus our traditional PC platforms. If you take a look at how you use your mobile device, let's say we want to go find out what the weather is. Do you go to your browser first? No, you don't you will go up and you will use the built-in application for the weather. Globally, you'll find out that in the United States and in Oceania, which includes Australia, New Zealand, and that portion of the world, that app usage is first and foremost above local web usage. This means that people in the United States are going to be using apps first to get to something, especially when it comes to repeat business. That's a critical part of why an app is so important. It's a way for us to stay in touch and to identify directly with your church because it's right there on the desktop for easy access for them to use. Want to try out our demo app? It's this simple. If you're using any Apple product, iOS based, such as the iPhone, it's very simple. Use Safari, browse to church.earnestapps.com, once it comes up, press the up arrow button, which will allow you to bring up the extra menu that says Add to Home Screen. Press Add to Home Screen and click Add. It's then added to your home screen. It's that easy. What about if you happen to have an Android product? Use Chrome on your Android product. Once again, browse to church.earnestapps.com. Press the three dots in the upper right corner of Chrome, which will allow you the option to add to home screen. Once again, press add and it's added to your home screen. It's as simple as that. Want more information? Give us a call. You can reach us at 616-437-7970 or email us at sales at earnest apps.com. That's sales at earnestapps.com. We're looking forward to working with you in the near future. Thanks and have a great day.